everyone, how are you doing today? I hope I'm meeting all of you in a very good condition with that. I welcome you for today's tutorial. I'm still your friend, the Nidu woman. Today, based on a very highly requested video, we are going to be making this booboo -boo gown with waist band or robe. But for my own, the front part, I'll be putting zip. Okay. So quickly, we will just kick start our tutorial. We are going to be using about three and a half inches of this Ankara fabric. I separated them because the front is going to have a zip. That's why I had to separate them. If not, I would have cut the whole thing together. And also the side, I don't want it too wide. So as you can see, I removed about three inches here. I will not be using this end. My own will stop here. Okay. I also have two markings here, this and then this. This is my shoulder to waist. This is my shoulder to hip. Okay. So I will also need to place my shoulder to bust. This is my shoulder to bust. Okay, so shoulder to bust, shoulder to waist, shoulder to hip. You are also going to be making use of this one inch elastic. This is for the back. Okay, since our gown has a booboo gown has a rope, because you know there is no way the rope can pass the back and the front because of the sewing that will come by the side. So we'll be putting this one at the back, and then the front will be rope all right okay so i will now take my shoulder measurement my normal shoulder is eight inches okay but then i'll be using the whole of this since this is a boo I'll take away one and a half inches from here. Connect it to the eight inches. This is for the shoulder slope. And then my neck is five inches. Okay. We are connecting this to three inches, sorry. From this one and a half inches here to three inches shoulder slope, which is standard, please. Not to your shoulder. Okay, so this is my three inches here. This is my neck. I'm using five inches. This is my actual shoulder. Okay. So I went down here by one and a half inches, connected it to my three inches, which is standard for shoulder slope. I think I'll first remove this part. Okay, now having removed it, I'll measure my neck depth. I'm using three inches. So I'll connect it to the five inches here. Okay. And then I'll place my bust, waist, and hip measurement. To all of these measurements, I added a few inches as is. Okay, bust 45 into 4 is 11 and quarter. Waist 42 into 4 is 10 and a half. So here we measure 10.5 along the waistline. And then hip measurement 47 into 4, 11.75. Okay. So I'm connecting the waist, sorry, the bust to the waist to the 
And please, the length of the wrapper we have here is the length of the gown. Okay. Eleven point seven five. You take it down to the hemline. Okay, so yours can stop here or it can stop at the length of the gown. I mean the sewing. You are starting to sew from here. So when joining the front and the back, my armhole is 9 inches, which is here. But because this is a booboo gown, I will not be using the exact 9 inches, okay? So I will use the whole of this as my armhole. I better say I'll just take away 1 inch from my bust upwards. So I'm beginning to sew from this 1 inch up here, okay? I'll start from here, sew until the desired length. It's either I stop here or I stop at the hemline. Whichever one that works for you, but I prefer to stop my boo boo along the way. I don't like to take it down to the hemline. So this is for the back. Okay. Now, what I did here, when I turn it to the right side, I'll have to repeat it because the sewing is on the right side. Okay. I will have to repeat it. Now, as for this elastic, we are going to be putting it at the waistline here. This is where we are going to be putting it. Okay. And for my own, I used the measurement of 16 inches. That's what I used here. 16 inches. So that when I stretch it, it will now draw it closer a little bit. All right, so I will remove this excess here and then use this to cut the front. The only difference, like I said, is that it's going to have a zipper allowance because I'll be putting zip from the neck down to the waist line. Okay. Now I've removed the excess. I'll also remove the neck. All you need to do is to cut out facing for the neck or you use your bias to in the neck. Okay, so this is the front and this is the back. I have one inch as my zipper allowance. The neck for the front, I mean the body should be six inches. Neck width was 5 for the back, so we maintain the same 5 for the front. Okay. So basically all I need to do is to remove this shoulder slope here since i have the back placed against the front you can see it clearly so i'll just need to remove it when you do that just like i've done you will now need to open this one up if you like you can open it from this neck down to the hemline or you open it a little bit below the waistline whatever works for you okay because what we need is just from this neck to this waistline Okay, that's all we need to be opened. But if you like for easy uh, fixing of your zipper, you can open it lower than the waistline. Okay, so that when sewing, all you will do will be to just close up. I mean, just sew this place even without you opening it. You will just sew it and then stop at the waistline. Okay.
and then you repeat the measurement we have at this back at the front i already marked the bust the waist and the hip i have them marked out i'm taking this one again and then i'll repeat the same measurement equally okay so the next thing we are going to be doing will be to cut out this i already separated the front okay so this is going to be on one side this one will be at the other side but before then you cut out as wide as can contain the one inch elastic okay you cut out as wide as can contain so we're going to be joining it this way this way so that the elastic will pass inside okay remember this elastic is for the back the front we are going to be using rope okay so this is for the front i cut the same also for the back and we're going to be attaching this on the reverse side of our fabric i already made the marking i hope you see it i hope you can see the blue line okay this is my shoulder to waist it is on both sides of the fabric i hope you see it okay so first what we're going to be doing will be to join these two that i split open together once again so i work from the hemline using my one inch i made available for the zip i will close it all up to around one inch before the waistline this is my waistline my shoulder to waist so i'm working from my hemline using my one inch that i marked for zipper allowance when i get to about this point one inch below the shoulder to waist i stop okay and then i attach my zip i hope you understand so what i'll do now will be to close this up knitting the neckline using my bias and then attach zip okay great now i've attached the zipper i hope you see it i also joined the two at the shoulder the next will be to now at the back side attach this okay from one side of the waist to the other side of the waist remember this is our measurement but then you have to attach it a little bit inner than the waist measurement this is our waist where you have my thumb and here this is the waist i'm working with but then in attaching this i wouldn't have to shift away from it say like one and a half inch here one and a half inch away from the waist measurement and then you are attaching the back side from the reverse side and then for the front we are going to be attaching it on the right side like this when i must have sewn here folded it very well okay and then folded this side too i already measured them i attach it making sure that the midpoint here sits on the line on the waistline this is our waistline i hope you can still see it okay so when i must have folded this way i will start attaching this way so i will sew like this first of all okay when i'm done i will then turn this side this way tuck it in a little bit okay i wish you can see let me use another fabric to show you okay this is contrasting enough so when i must have folded here this way i will attach like this okay i will sew but this time around it is going to be 
on the exact waist measurement so that by the time i'm joining the front and the back i will sew on top of it okay so this is it i will sew it should end here the way i folded this end is the way i'm going to be folding this end as well okay when i sew along this line i will then turn it over this way fold this inwards a little bit okay and continue so that at the end of the day you have something like this okay and then when i fold this i'm going to sew on top remember the one i sewed the first one was inside and then i turn it over then sew on top but just make sure that the midpoint of this attachment sits on the line all right okay so now you see i've attached it and also passed the elastic through i hope you can see the effect this is for the back like i said the front was placed on the front and the back was placed behind and this is for the front i hope you see it i also passed my rope okay the next thing will be now to close them up at the two sides and fold the hemline and then we are done all you need to do is to follow the marking okay you follow the marking and close them up at the two sides and also the hemline like i said i will take one inch upwards the bust line that's where i'll start closing up my own armhole but normally i start closing up my armhole randomly at any way but because this is a tutorial one inch upwards the bust line is where this is my bust line i have to be sure okay so this is my bust line 12 here and then one inch up I will start sewing normally i start from 12 down okay if it works for you like that fine if not you can go one inch up and then close them up at the two sides and of course you should know that when closing it up you are sewing this part and making sure you get to this one too okay so the stitch should join this end and the elastic side together okay when i close it up i knit in the edge fold the hemline and that's all okay so finally this is what we have okay remember at the back we have the elastic and then at the front we have the group Okay, I hope you see it. Thank you, and please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching. Take very good care of yourself. Bye.